five most influential black people in American history. George said the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> I don't think the man knows that much what's going on. And this whole Iraqi thing is getting to be crazy too. I tell you what the problem is in the Middle East, y'all. We don't know who is who over in the Middle East. If you got a spot of sand, you got a country. <laughs> like you got Iran, Iraq, I come, I go. What are these people? It's amazing to me. And I tell you, the war is just over. I'm glad the whole thing's over. It's fabulous and everything. A lot of people are over there, too. A lot of people over there covering this war. They had big reporters. They had Brokaw. They had Rather. They had Peter Jennings. One of the biggest reporters in America just left. You know what I'm talking about. Geraldo. <laughs> Big show coming on next week. Iraqi transvestite tank drivers. <laughs> and the camels who love them. <laughs> Big show coming on next week from Geraldo, man. I tell you, the government, they irritate me now because they're coming up with a lot of rip-off stuff. You know what I'm talking about. They came up with this new thing. You guys heard about this? Government came up with this. Radon gas. Have you seen this? This is gas that comes into your house. You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. But for $100, the government will come out and remove it. <laughs> It's like, yeah, Mr. Walker, there the gas over there. <laughs> Give me a hundred. It's gone now. <laughs> People are amazing. You know what I'm talking about. And I'm watching the two. You know what I realized by watching the two talk about thieves now? On television, criminals now have their own TV show. America's most wanted. <laughs> Criminals are watching themselves every week. You're like, look, there's bubble. <laughs> Damn, man, you look good coming out that 7-Eleven. Nice to see you, my man. So, all right, criminals is unbelievable. I saw a thing that knocked me out in the paper. I could not believe this. 26-year-old man tried to rob Toys R Us <laughs> with a toy gun. <laughs> Got shot by a five-year-old with a real gun. <laughs> Myself finally got a little justice the other day, matter of fact. Guy trying to steal my tires got run over by the guy trying to steal my car. <laughs> it's amazing, man. And talk about people making money, brother. I tell you, there's a lot of people making money out here. Quick thoughts. Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Big time. Make a lot of dough, man. Last year, Michael Jordan grossed. 27 million dollars big money brother big money you know what i'm talking about and now he's selling those air jordan sneakers have you seen those 175 dollars a pair you can fly to chicago and see michael jordan for this kind of money it's amazing man and athletes are making so much money now, everybody's coming back. They don't care. Jim Palmer's coming back. Larry Holmes coming back. Leon Spinks coming back. Even though he never was there, but he's coming back. <laughs> My goodness, I saw the saddest one a couple of weeks ago. I'm watching the Kentucky Derby. Mr. Ed trying to come back. Wait for me, Wilbur. It was embarrassing. It came in seventh. It was very embarrassing. Quick thought. If Don King went to the electric chair, <laughs> what would his head look like afterwards? <laughs> Just a quick thought, man. I didn't want to bring anything else up, you know? And you know, there's some amazing things that have happened to me. I'm thinking about this the other day. I don't know if you guys realize, on television now, they have to have commercials that appeal to the ethnic group that is watching the show. By this, I mean that they have an Hispanic show, they have to have a Hispanic commercial. They have an Oriental show, they have to have an Oriental commercial. I'm watching a black show the other day, Pillsbury Doughboy comes on, he's burnt! <laughs> Irritated me to no death, man. I tell you that, the other, oh man, a lot of stuff going on. And now I'm watching the tube. I don't know if you guys realize this. Now I watch the cables all the day, my man. They got a black cable station out here. I'm not making this up. The Black Home Shopping Network. <laughs> I watched it the other day. I see my TV and stereo on there. <laughs> I'm out of here. You guys have been great. Have a good night.